welcome back to my channel and in this video i am going to show few indoor plants out of my collection so if you like uh, this video please do share and like and uh, for more updates uh, please do subscribe to my channel and uh, without being late let's get into the video this particular plant is ficus elastica which is known as rubber plant it leaves a reddish pink a pale white colored the leaf is thick velvety and it well known for its foliage and it grows up to 4 feet tall and next plant that you are seeing belongs to agronema species which is common and known its chain is evergreen and it has got these brown tips lately because i think due to irregular watering intervals and this plant performs well in low light too and this one is philodendron species it has got a few um, brown tips too because of i place them in direct sunlight and this has got the very long petioles if you can see it's growing well and it started giving uh, new leaves as well i bought this plant from local nursery as well and this one is sansevieria which is known as a snake plant i think this is one of a uh, different uh, kind of species and it has got this cylindrical long uh, leaves and this is a small opuntia pup i placed here for rooting mm, if you can see it's uh, it grows too long uh, tall enough and this one is daphnebasia and i found this in local nursery and it also started giving a new leaf as well it does well in low light too and this particular species belongs to euphorbia genus and this is pale whitish green color and the other species is a uh, dark green if you can see it started giving a new outgrowth as well this has a uh, thorns or spines uh, and a sm small outgrowths like just like a leaf I'm not sure uh, and this is a peculiar uh, uh, species that i found in euphorbia and both are similar but they differ in color only and this one is sansevieria snake plant uh, it is a uh, very commonly found and i got this from roadside and it started it recovered very well and this is aloe vera and i bought this when it was just two leaves and now it has given a good growth this one is a spider plant and uh, i should be sorry so sad for this uh, plant because i directly placed it in sunlight and the leaves turn brown and now i just uh, changed its place and i think it started a new growth and the leaves are quite healthy and this one is begonia which is uh, commonly known as angel wings the new leaves are reddish purple color and uh, the leaves are uh, huge and this is such a beautiful plant with a green red and purplish color and it is quite healthy and this is purple leaf sand cherry i think cuz i i couldn't find its uh, name properly but uh, please let me know if i was wrong the new leaves are a bit greeny and quite leaves are fallen off and this is another ficus elastica but this is uh, completely dark green in color with some burgundy uh, petioles and stem this i got from local nursery and this one is uh, another plant that i got from local nursery and it has this long petioles and beautiful uh, pattern going on the leaf and this is alocasia and uh, it performs well in bright light but not in direct sunlight and the next plant is a zz plant and i got this also from local nursery and it's doing pretty good in indoors 
I got uh, it has got so many plantlets and I just separated them and repotted in a new pot and yeah, yeah and this one the leaves are quite healthy and these is the a small these are the small plantlets that I repotted separately so that it can grow freely and this one is another plant Mm, this is Stromantha triostera and I got this from ugavo.com the packaging was pretty good and this particular plant has a peculiar feature that these leaves close up uh, when the light fades and opens again in the morning and uh, this has a beautiful um, variegation and color pattern going on and this leaf tip has also turned brown because of some reasons and this has got started giving a new sucker as well yeah, and this is peace lily and uh, I got this from local nursery as well and the leaf flowers are uh, typical and uh, white in color if you can see let me make a so close up yeah the flower is white mm. and this one is philodendron broken heart I got this from Ogawa I think it is a creeper because uh, it just uh, goes like a pothos as well but need to find the I just uh, put a stick behind so that if it starts creeping it can take support of that stick and this one is a pansia that I got from local nursery this is the second pup and the first one I've shown uh, before and this opuntia doesn't have any thorns and this is uh, enjoy pothos this is different from the marble pothos because it is uh, doing well in a medium light as well it has given a good growth as you can see and this leaf has fallen off for some reason and that's it this, this plant performs well and this one is christmas cacti uh, and I, I got this from local nursery as well and uh, this leaves suddenly started falling off because I over watered it and then I again reported it I need to see whether this will perform well or not and this one is pepperonia and this is the second time that I bought this plant and first time it died because I over watered it and now I need to take a bit more care for this and this has got good variegation as well this is Drasina. It does good in direct as well as bright to medium light and the leaves uh, from bottom has fallen off. It's quite healthy and uh, easy to maintain. And this is jade plant that I bought from local nursery. Leaves are succulent and small. It has quite thick stems. Many leaves has fallen off after repotting for some reason and new growth started appearing as you can see and this is Havartia uh, it started uh, flowering uh, and as you can see it has it's too long and the flowers haven't opened yet and um, again I bought this from local nursery along with the other one and uh, yeah it's quite easy to maintain and this is Opuntia monocantha which is called as joseph coat cactus and it started giving many little small pups and it has spines all over and this is uh, all for this video and most of the plants i bought from local nursery itself and few which are difficult to get uh, i purchased uh, from online mostly from ugao